we talked about that case uh, just now in Bahamas. This decision went like a wildfire to the Caribbean. The Privy Council ruled that the mandatory death sentence in Nevis and St. Lucia also constituted inhumane treatment because it did not take into account the mitigating circumstances. And if that wasn't controversial enough, the Privy Council decision in the Bahamas case of Foster Bow and Toronto Davis versus the Crown and the Crown versus Max Martino. It was ruled when I read your section 219291 mm. earlier. Mm -hmm. Well, the Privy Council ruled that that section no longer mandated a death <coughs> sentence upon conviction of murder. That's what they ruled. So even though it's straightforward as that was, it was like two, it was like one line. Mm -hmm. Let me read it really again to you. Whoever commits murder mm -hmm. shall be liable to suffer death. Yeah, be put to death. The Privy Council held that that no longer mandated the death penalty. And what the Constitution did in that regard, I remember when, when uh, Mr. Mr. Monka spoke, mm -hmm. Mr. Arna, mm -hmm. and he spoke about looking at the 1963 Constitution, mm -hmm. 1969 Constitution, in conjunction with the 1973. The 1973, 63, and 69, they have what we call savings clauses in those, in those um, constitutions, meaning that it, even if something isn't in our 73 constitution. If there is something in the older one that is for the interest or, or benefit of persons today, this present constitution will take that into account. So those older constitutions took into account mitigating circumstances for, the, for the persons convicted of murder. So the previous council decided to honor those previous articles in the Constitution and, and it ruled that because of that that piece of legislation is not is, is, is not mandatory but there is a discretion that the judge has. So the judge now has a discretion to decide whether or not this person is guilty, this person committed it, was it worse, was there any rehabilitation, is there any other punishment not suitable? That's where the confusion comes in with a lot of persons, and that's where there's a lot of buckhead with legal minds on that issue. Some persons don't agree that the council should reach that far. I just take laws as it is. The Privy Council did. Question with what you said just now. Does that mean that could there be really change to the Constitution? Because um, if I change something in the Constitution, then I'm going to still reach back into mm -hmm. something prior and still pull that up. But what's the sense of changing if I can still reach back and pull a piece of that, if you, if but you, you already changed? If you're the Prime Minister, and you change the Constitution, you can put a clause in there saying saving clauses will not be. Mm. Or, or you might say only the following saving clauses will be recognized. You okay. might be more descriptive in what saving clauses are. You will recognize any. You may make a final constitution, what ain't in there, ain't going to be looked at. So whoever drafts this, this new constitution, they're going to be faced with, with, with that type of decision. And it's going to be based on what the people yeah. um, so, in, in, in the case of murder, right, the judge now has no discretion about imposing the death sentence. Our judges can impose it. No, they can impose it, but now you can't just arbitrarily say because you committed murder that you will be getting the death sentence. You can, and they do. What happens is when this person appeals to the people counsel, mm -hmm. let's, let's say, for example, our court of appeal finds someone guilty and they send them, sentence them to death, as they do. And this person doesn't appeal to the people counsel. And all of, the, all of the, the procedure goes through. The person doesn't appeal, they just say, okay, accept that. Behind that. So, so what's it? But know that they have that right to appeal to the Privy Council. They have a right to appeal to other bodies too, not just the Privy Council. There's some other human rights groups out there. There's an Eastern Caribbean Court. 
Council International, yes, the Eastern Caribbean Court have also, it's not binding, it's highly persuasive. So there's so many. Yeah, but I don't understand why they born with the people in the Caribbean, okay? The U.S., you could be on death row for 20, 40 years, the botched one they had the other day. You understand? <coughs> what, what is the difference with our Constitution and the U.S. Constitution, and why are these people in other parts of the world bothering with people in the Caribbean telling us we can't do this, but they don't bother with the U.S.? Mm -hmm. because, the, because the U.S. is, is not subject to the people down south. Right. Yeah. The U.S., mm -hmm. and if you look at different states, Florida has a different death penalty laws yeah. Yeah. than yeah. Chicago. It's a Texas hanger, everybody. Yeah, Texas so hanger. Even, even, the states, the penalty, <laughs> even the states have their <laughs> difference in their federal laws. Mm -hmm. So, the county is not binding on the US, binding on us. Yeah. 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 But now take into account all mitigating factors in each case mm -hmm. and then decide if the convicted person should be sentenced to death or whether another sentence would be more suitable. So let me ask you all, what do you feel is the solution? I know. What do you think is the solution? After all I've said so far, I the Supreme Council... I think we should say exactly what we you think. You think we should? Uh, hang on, I think we should advise the Supreme Council. But, you know, based on but the last meeting, when the last meeting and on um, the comment yeah. and um, he looked at many of the advantages of the Privy Council, right? When he talked about, and mind you, I wasn't even aware of what when they don't charge, then you have a, a separate perspective. And you don't and really, even if they them. make a ruling, you don't have to go with it, right? The people don't make a ruling. Uh, mm -hmm. You have to go with it. Fine. You have to go with it. It's fine, that's the final decision. What? Once, they, once the people come to make the decision, that's it. That's the last call to be. Well, I think, you, I think we should keep it based on what you said tonight. Simply because you, know, you said that there are always mitigating circumstances. And suppose that somebody is accused of something, and like the boy with the mango seed, so he took the mango seed, he didn't shoot the lady. You know, so an innocent person could be. That's one of the main arguments to keep it for our opponents. Right, because you gotta find evidence you know, around me now. Where I'm going this place. But we must understand, even although he maybe would, would have been charged and everything else, we still haven't dared go on our hand and somebody killed her. So, so when you look at it, I feel within myself that the privy council has already done away with ex uh, with, with people being yeah. executed. But they keep saying the worst of the worst. Mm -hmm. As far as the PV Council is concerned, there'll never be a worse of a worse. Because every time you right. give them something, I read an article where they said the PV Council says, stay, what you would consider as a country the worst of the worst. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. But when you say the worst yeah. of the worst, the PV Council, in their eyesight, they still do not the worst of the worst. So they already done away with it. It's okay. just that look like we can't come to the understanding that they ain't never going to be no worse of the worst. We have to be the PV Council is concerned. 